I'm Charlotte, and welcome to Building Thomas the Tank Engine in Live Steam, Kit Bash Part 6. We decided to have our main body pieces for Thomas cut and rolled at a local machine shop. From there, we'll cut Thomas's windows, doors, and coal bunker vents. We want to give you a sneak peek into what the future holds for Thomas. We think that documenting early cutting of the body is important in the kit bash, so we want to show the newly cut body pieces that'll be seen in later chapters of the build. A lot of people seem interested in how the overall body of this particular rideable live steam Thomas will look. I'll break down the important features we like. Thomas's basis is the LB and SCR E2 class. When Reverend Audrey created Thomas, the engine existed only as a wooden toy made for his son Christopher and carried the letters NW on the side tanks, which stood for nowhere, according to Audrey. Fast forward to an illustrator named Reginald Payne. Audrey selected a real locomotive for Payne to work from to create authenticity. A Billington designed 060 E2 class of the London, Brighton, and South Coast Railway. It's important to note that RA envisioned an LNER J50 at first. We think it would also be fun to do another locomotive and recreate that LNER class J50 at some point too. This, of course, is a very short version into the fascinating history of how Thomas came to be. And it's definitely a big part of our live steam build. We'd love to hear what your favorite generation and or year of Thomas is in the comments below. These red paper cutouts of the running board trim is just an example of the design that will eventually be cut out of steel. This slope is also an example of what will come as far as the front of the locomotive. There will be a lot more experimentation before the final decision is made. This face, we actually took off a rideable Thomas toy and isn't the final face and or faces, but one can use their imagination as to see the slow transformation into the E2 Thomas design. As we enter the beginning stages of our bodywork, we're basing this live steam model off the classic E2 features, which Thomas is known for, mainly the extended side tags and the dip front running boards. We'll start by measuring and cutting the boiler bands for Thomas. We cut the metal into strips and prime the bands. We'll paint the bands red with heat resistant paint. We then tighten the bands around the boiler and jacket. Here's a glimpse in how we get the bands through and around the boiler and frame.
Now we touch up the bands by hand. We attach the right hand side water feed to its appropriate valve. At this stage, we'll clean up and degrease the bumpers in order to give them a nice black finish. We reattach the coupling hook to Thomas's front buffer. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more videos.